Hello everyone. Today we are going to design the second part of the gearbox. In last video, we have designed the pinion gear shaft and gear. So before watch this video, I suggest you to watch previous video. You can watch the previous video through the above link. Okay, let's start to design. First of all, we have to open a new part. okay then we have to create a sketch on the front plane then using lines draw a sketch like this using horizontal and vertical lines okay then we have to set smart dimensions this length is equal to 12.5 millimeters and also this one also equal to 12.5 this one equal to 17.5 millimeters then this is equal to 10 millimeters right then the length of this line is equal to 20 millimeters this line is equal to 78 millimeters drag this line like this way and this line also again go to the smart dimensions this is equal to 20 millimeters this is equal to 71 millimeters okay the sketch is fully defined one then go to the features click on revolve boss revolve boss axis of the revolution this is okay then go to the chamfer select these edges this one this one and these three edges also right the distance is equal to 1.0 millimeters okay then we have to create keyways for that case I have to create a new plane which is parallel to front plane go to the features and click on reference geometry and then plane first reference is select third tangent tangent to the surface and the second one is top plane select parallel okay we have created the plane which is parallel to top plane and tangent to this selected surface okay then create a sketch on the created plane like this way okay then go to the sketch and select straight slot draw a slot from this point like this way okay click on this one then go to the smart dimensions this is equal to 6 millimeters and this is equal to 
this is equal to 22 millimeters okay then sketch is fully defined one then again go to the features and click on extruded cut the distance is equal to 3.5 millimeters okay then we have to create a corner radius for that case click on fillet and select this is this edge and the radius is equal to 0 0.25 millimeters okay then again we have to create a, another keyway so in that case i have to create a, another plane also again go to the features click on reference geometry and plane this plane also tangent to this surface and also parallel to top plane then the plane is created again make a sketch on created plane 2 and again go to the sketch and draw a center line from this point to this point right click select then go to the straight plot click on this type this is the center point of the slot click on this line and draw a slot like this so we have to create smart dimension the length is equal to 30 millimeters radius is equal to 5 millimeters okay then the sketch is fully defined one then click on ok and again go to the features and select extruded cut then we have to set the depth of the cut it is equal to 2.7 millimeters okay then we have to create the corner radius so again select fillet feature and select the, this edge also so the corner radius is equal to 0 0.25 millimeters as previous case okay then we can see the both two keyways were created like this way then hide these created planes like this way then click on material right click click on edit material select the material of the output shaft as carbon cast steel apply close okay the material also selected for the design part this is the output shaft of the gearbox Hope you are enjoy this video. See you from next video to continue the design of the gearbox. Thank you.